Hello and welcome to I Am Organic Gardening. My name is Mark and today I want to share with you a raised bed design that I just created. I don't see anybody else uh, came up with this idea, so hopefully you enjoy it and it can be helpful for you in your raised bed garden. It's affordable and the best thing is it's going to last you at least 25 years. I'm currently standing inside my barn because it's way too windy out. We're expecting a actually a snowstorm in a few days. Um, it's, it's crazy right now it's about 60 degrees and it's going to drop down to about freezing of course to get the snow and it's supposed to be extremely windy and hopefully it won't uh, hurt the garden too much because we have delayed planting on our farm here because of the strange weather we've been having so far this year. So some of the things we're going to need is a bolt cutter, tape measure, marker, something to cut the aluminum with and our aluminum here which is 20 inches tall and 50 feet long and you're also going to need a cattle panel that's 16 feet long and 50 inches wide and the last two items is going to be some tie wraps and some wire to form it together and hold it in shape our cattle panel is 50 inches tall so we're going to cut it in half it's going to be a little bit taller than say two feet but we're cutting it at 25 inches and we're going to go right down the line all the length of the panel and make sure it's all at 25 inches. Now we're gonna go right down the line and cut our panel with our bolt cutter at 25 inches. Nice and slow and steady. So now we have it perfectly cut at 25 inches, the whole length of 16 feet. And now the pointy ends that you just cut that's going to be the bottom of the raised bed. So I have my tie wraps with me. Now I'm just going to take one of the sections that I cut in half, flip it over, like so. And then I'm just going to bring it up towards me, like this. And I'm going to take, just as a general rule, put it together, take a tie wrap, Just get it started so it doesn't open up on me again. And that's the start of our raised bed. I'm going to give a little bit of a compression here so we have it nicely. And then you have to just shape it towards your raised bed. Then we're going to put the other tie wraps on and form a perfect circle out of it. Now we've completed our shaping of our round raised bed here, I actually used some wire to reinforce it. The plastic tie wraps are good, but you just have to get some good quality ones so they don't snap or uh, exceed the pressure that's recommended for them. Because you're going to be filling this whole thing up with soil, and I don't want it to reopen up on, on you again, so the wire is definitely something you should uh, use after you get it together with the uh, tie wraps. Now we completed our circle pattern of our raised bed. Now again, it's standing at 25 inches tall. At least five inches of it is gonna go into the soil and hold that shape also too, because the aluminum that we're gonna be adding to it is only 20 inches tall. And also, just as a note, these openings here are six inches tall and eight inches wide. So the aluminum is not that very thick, but when it's inside that, let's say, cage or the cattle panel, the reinforcing of the cattle panel, which I believe is four gauge wire, and it's galvanized, and it's gonna last at least 25 years, is gonna hold that aluminum in shape and not allow it to bow or to, let's say, uh, come past the wire in the future. It's very strong, and that wire is gonna hold that aluminum back. So now we have our aluminum roll. This sheet here is the small end, and it's gonna roll that way. So again, be careful when you cut this open, it's under pressure. It's maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, depends on who put it together for you, like so. And just let it roll out. <laughs> that was easy. So now we have the aluminum rolled out. The length of the cattle panel, the other piece I had cut down there, and you can see here that we're gonna cut it a little bit longer. The aluminum is 50 feet long and our cattle panel is 16 feet. So we're gonna get three beds made out of this aluminum that I bought here. 
So what it comes down to is 16 times three is 48. And so now we're just gonna leave a little bit extra on each one so we have an extra two feet to fool around with. So we're just gonna cut like say an extra five inches on the length of each one easily and we have plenty of uh, overlapping when it goes inside a raised bed. So now we install the aluminum inside our cattle panel circle here. Now you can see there's a height difference between the aluminum and the cattle panel but remember we're going to bury that cattle panel at least five inches in the ground so that aluminum and top edge of the cattle panel is going to be at the same height. So our total height out of the ground is going to be 20 inches. The reason I came up with this design, because people still want to have that raised bed at least, let's say two feet tall or at least 20 inches tall, because they enjoy gardening and they have difficulty getting down to a raised bed that's only let's say seven or eight inches tall or possibly 10 inches tall. So this takes away that height problem because it's double the height. Now also, they want something that's long lasting, affordable, and we'll go over the prices in the description below how much it cost me to build this. And the other thing is, is that a lot of people don't have access to wood chips that can fill their raised bed like other, uh, my other design has included with the uh, wood chips around the edge of the bed with hardwood mesh. So one last thing, if you don't like the shiny aluminum that's around the outside and you want to do something different, you can always spray paint the aluminum once you set it in the garden. Um, there's all different types of spray paint out there that can adhere to aluminum and just do it on the outside, don't do it on the inside. And you can paint them green, brown, whatever color you wish to have your garden stand out for you to enjoy. Let's talk about cost for a second here. Now, I'm on the website tractorsupply.com and this is mostly likely in your area, the stores or Home Depots or Lowe's. So now I'm just looking at this and this is May of 2020. So they call them feedlot panels or cattle panels also too. And there's also a called something called a hog panel. Now, if you don't have bolt cutters and you wish to not cut it down, this one's 34 inches tall and it comes that way 16 feet long. So then you just have to bear the excess into the ground. Now the one that I use, which is a little bit cheaper, and you can get two raised beds out of it, is only, let's say, $24. Now, so out of that $24, we're gonna take half of that, because they only use half of that per each bed, so that we have $12 that we're using just for the outside. So now let's see what the cost of aluminum is. Now I moved over to the Home Depot website where I got the aluminum flashing from, and that's what they call it. Now, this product here, this is one I use, is 20 inches tall and 50 feet long, and that costs about $56. So let's run that up to $60. So every raised bed is gonna use, because I can get three of them out of there, so three into $60 is $20 for that one. So we have $20 plus the $12 of water that goes on the outside, so we're investing only $32 to make this bed. So the final dimensions for this raised bed that we just discussed early in the video is gonna be 20 inches tall and five feet in diameter all the way around. It's quite a nice size for a raised bed and only costing $32. You can spend about the same amount of money and you can make it square if you don't want it round and that will be four feet square. I wanna thank you so very much for watching this video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe. And I will see you in the future. We'll get this outside in a couple weeks once the snow is gone, possibly, and the cold weather, and we're going to get back to gardening again. And things are going to work out just great this year for all of us.